Hello and welcome back to our overview of mobile applications for NAS. Last video we did was looking at QFile for QNAP and today we want to look at DS file for Synology NAS using a DS118. So if we go into DS file here straight away it logs us immediately in because we've saved our details from earlier on and here we are directly in the NAS. From here we can see that the breakdown of the folders inside the NAS that we've shared to this particular account. On the top left here, we've got our options menu. In offline files there at the top, we can see files that we've downloaded. If we look at disk station, that shows us the file structure on the NAS that we're on. And of course, tasks is stuff happening in the background, upload, download, remote tasks. And photo backup, if we want to enable backing up from our mobile device, such as the Android phone that I'm on. Uh, if we go back into the disk station there, we can have a look at our individual files and folders on the NAS. If we go inside, these are the stuff that we uploaded from our previous videos. We can see that it's quite straightforward to have a look at individual photos. So let's pick something nice and easy, easy shall we? Let's go for something Christmassy. It's always nice. Got to love a bit of Christmas. And here's our big directory. And again, of course, we can change the way we can see these. If we want, go for something a bit bigger. And we'll pick a random picture, shall we? Something ridiculous. It's going to be Christmassy. Something where I look like a crazy fool would be nice. Let's have a look there. Me with my Christmas hat on. Nice and simple. The photos are very easy to open and it will display them. But say we don't want to look at um, photos. Go back to the file structure. We want to listen to music. How about that? There we go. Let's choose some music from the game Dark Souls. Why not? Let's give that a lot. And now it's playing that music there in the background for us. Cancel that, come out of it. Next, we can have a look at other things. We can have a look at video. So let's look at the movies folder and let's have a look at Blade Runner. Again, there is no option for transcoding, but in the device's defense, the CPU inside is a Realtek-based CPU, which although it can transcode, whether it transcodes natively in the same way, I'm not sure. But this is the movie Blade Runner, and as you can see, we're watching it over the network, and we can skip forward and back quite easily. And again, there's all the options that we need for watching movies and files as we see fit. So we've got videos, we've got TV shows, we've got photos, we've got music. It is a file handling app. There's no denying it is considerably more straightforward to look at than that QNAP application we were looking at. And again, if we want to look at slightly more, um, you know, less multimedia based stuff, we can look at documents. And this is where we can open up PDFs if, if we see fit. So here's a timetable from a train where I was getting caught on the train and it can open up a PDF within that application, but of course it is using the application, or in this case, the PDF viewer from Google on my phone. If, later on, when we look at the Synology uh, Drive application, we will see more proprietary applications, but again, it will open documents utilizing the um, Google Docs application, but if we do want to use the proprietary applications, that's when we move over to Synology Drive, but that really is it for this application. On the top right here, we've got information about sorting, editing, filtering results, and searches and more. But as you would expect, the Synology app is very user-friendly indeed. And I do recommend it to those that want a stress-free, easy NAS file handling experience. It's available now for Android and iOS. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching and do check out my next video that's going to be based on the music applications for QNAP and Synology. See you later.